Sewe. I'm a teacher, an art teacher. Um, I am a trained graphic design artist and also a drawing and painting artist. Yeah, I, I'm, a, I'm a jack of all trades. Um, I, I work well with my hands. In art, I am very good in graphic design. I'm very good in drawing and painting. Um, I do carpentry very well. I do metal work very, very well. Um, I fix my own cars, basically, meaning that I am uh, a mechanic of some sort. Uh, I, I sing, I teach music. Yeah, and so I, I, I am a multifaceted person. Art is very broad. Uh, we have visual art, we have applied art, and also we have performing art. Um, so um, we, have, we have performing art, things like dance, music, poetry. These are things where an artist stands in front of people and, and performs. Okay, uh, we have visual arts and these are art, art items or art units which are expected to, to enhance beauty or to, to bring out beauty in something that's, that an artist is doing. Something like a drawing and painting, um, architectural designs, they, they just enhance beauty. And then we have applied art. This is that part of art that is supposed to communicate a given idea to the public. Um, for instance, graphic design is an applied uh, field of art. Uh, for you to be an artist, first of all, uh, it requires you to have a talent. Um, an art talent, uh, if you're able to draw the better, if you're able to, to visualize stuff and be able to put them down um, in pen and pen, uh, pencil, uh, inks, paints, then uh, you're good to go. Uh, in, in our family, we, uh, we are creatives in our family. And I can recall while I was a small boy, my father used to, to, to train us how to draw. Um, and over time, even as I went through uh, primary school, high school, I did art as, as a subject. And uh, that really inspired me. I, I felt that there was, there was a lacking item in the market, which was, which was art. So I decided to take this up to, to help me grow in it and, and be a, a profession in art. There are quite a number of challenges. Uh, people don't take art as a serious endeavor. Um, I can remember while some time back while I was dating, I think I was about 20, 20, 23 thereabout, and uh, the, the mother of the lady whom I was dating really questioned if, if my art could put food on the table in the event that I, I get married to, to the daughter. So it, it was like it wasn't anything serious uh, and even to date people don't take art as, as something that is serious. They don't take art as something that can put food on your table. So that is usually the biggest challenge when it comes to art. Uh, there are no much risks involved in this job. Um, the only risk I can say is the risk of of not being able to, to secure employment if you're not good at what you're doing. Um, but anything that is health risk, um, I don't really see any health risk that is involved. This job, this job is unlike mathematics. Um, in mathematics, there are 
there are formulas that are predetermined. But in art, it is how you express yourself. It is not limited to a predetermined uh, result. So how I express myself, how I, I help my students also to, to express themselves, make this to be a very interesting venture. Oh yes, absolutely. Um, I live a good life, I believe. I, I pay my bills and uh, I, as, as, as how I feel it, art is the next big thing. You know the way medicine was the, the next big thing, engineering was the best, the best big thing. Today what, what really sells is art. Um, for you to be an artist, first of all, as I said, you, you really need to, to be talented in this. If you're not talented, then you, you learn. Yeah? So uh, you, you require skill and passion for, for your work, for you to be able to, to float in this field. Um, two things that help me capture my customers is my creativity, my creative skills. Um, in this venture, for you to be able to, to attract a, a client's base, you must produce something that is unique in itself. And um, mostly we, we don't advertise ourselves, but our work do advertise us. In the next five years, I want to, to be able to run a, a creative enterprise. I, I want to, to be able to have an enterprise that will be able to ins inspire those people who want to, to also excel in this art field. Um, if not my own enterprise, then I would want to head an institution that deals majorly in art and creative forms uh, so that I become also like a role model to the young people who are aspiring to be artists in the future. Um, you will note that not many ventures are there to, to help small artists to grow and if they are there they are usually very very expensive. Um, my passion has been to lift those people who are not able to make it in this field, whether they are my students or whether they are they're just persons out there. If I am able to do that in the next five years, then I think I will have achieved and accomplished much in this life. My worst moment was um, about two years back, uh, at one place that I used to work, uh, I was I was given this task that was so enormous. It wasn't I wasn't able to finish it within uh, a day, and that necessitated me to to work for three days. Um, that was day and night. So I was in the office day, night, day and night and I wasn't even doing a shower because there was no showers in the office. And after I had completed the task, um, I remember there was something I did not complete and I received a, a real whipping from the persons who were in charge. And to an extent, I felt like, um, like I was used, like I was not appreciated. Um, and that made me to rethink how far I'm supposed to go when it comes to execution of such, certain um, tasks um, based on the level of appreciation and understanding from the persons who task me with that job. 
Okay. Um, currently, I am an art teacher at the Evelyn's College of, of Design. Uh, right here, I'm, I'm a teacher. And what happens is when I come in the morning, I ensure that first of all I settle in the office. I usually arrive very early because I, I live very far. I don't live in Nairobi. Uh, so for me to get to the office, I usually get to the office at around 6.45. I get into the office, then I start doing my research. Because I am a teacher, I need to, to get myself um, acquainted with the, with the current trends. So I get to the office, I do my research and prepare for my classes. Now my classes are usually back to back. Um, uh, after I finish one class, I have a little rest of like about 10 minutes, then I get into the next class. And that is how my, my day usually looks like at, or on every given day. But there are those days which are easy for me. Um, because the institution also considers that I need to research some more. So um, days like Thursdays are usually very easy. I only have a, one class that is later in the afternoon from about 3.30 to 5. And that makes my work to be easy and interesting at the same time. Uh, it is a delicate balance um, because both are demanding. So most of the time you will note that I, I never sleep early. I sleep very, very late. Uh, sometimes I sleep at, at three in the night to be able to execute because art, art sometimes requires deadlines. In fact, in this field that is the art field, there are usually very strict deadlines that must be adhered to. So for you to be able to adhere to these art um, our, um, deadlines, you must ensure that you're working long hours to be able to achieve. So yes, the, the balance is on how I program myself and how I program my timings, then I'm able to achieve. This is a message to young people. I want to encourage you that passion counts in anything that you do. If you put your best in that which you do, then you are able to excel. Um, I can give you an example of myself. Uh, some years back, I never thought that I would come this far. I never thought that I would be a teacher in a tertiary institution. But because I had the passion of, of art, I was able to, to be right here. Uh, by the time I was a student, I was also teaching at that very same school that, that I was in. Um, that school used to offer a, a, a unit called floral design. And I was the only student who, was, um, who had an idea of what this was about. And so because of that passion, the school singled me out and gave me that unit to be teaching. And so I equate that to having passion of what you want to do. If you have passion for anything, you are able to achieve it big time.